Um, but anyway, I, I like what he was doing because I came to California to do something new. Um, primarily, we operated on, say, 80% on the thinker uh, channel and 20% and, uh, on the rebel funster channel. Um, I, uh, I was at the seminar for about five years, so I know him pretty well. I don't, I don't think I missed any Tuesday night for, for five years. Um, see, what did he say about my drama triangle? He said, uh, let's get this right, Steve, because people are going to be quoting you for 200 years. And I said, yeah, right. And uh, he said, why don't we put the victim on the top, because the victim's pulling the strings. The vic victim's making all the games happen to get the payoff. I said, no, victims belong on the bottom. And then, uh, then he said, persecutor, why don't we change that? Why don't you change that? See, I had been using this triangle for about two years with my patients before I even told her. And for persecutor, he said, why not aggressor? Well, I was, a, I was in the theater lot. Actually, I'm in Screen Actors Guild. And I thought the persecutor, rescuer, and victim is, was drama. That's, that's drama. So I called it the drama triangle. And uh, I kept going to the seminars because um, it was the 60s, and, and everything of the old was being overthrown. Everything new was coming in. There was Ericksonian brief therapy. Uh, Pearls got to the emotions faster than psychoanalysis, and rational motive therapy got to the thinking faster. Like everything was new, and that's what I wanted, so I stayed at the seminar. And uh, Eric, uh, I guess on the relationship diagram, which I'll use because Eric likes science, we had a very strong parent-to-parent -parent channel. Like both of us were doctors, and both of our fathers were doctors, and we we're both working on a team to to uh, solve the the problems of um, of therapy by coming up with a briefer and simpler approach.